Hello, in this video we will talk about overview of Amazon Web Services key pair. Amazon Web Services are also known as AWS. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Amazon Web Services use public key cryptography to secure login information. In a video titled Symmetric and Asymmetric Encryption Overview, I have covered the details of public private key security. So Amazon is a cloud service provider. You can rent Linux or Windows boxes from Amazon and you pay based on your usage of the resources. So you need to log into the machines that you're getting from Amazon. In Linux, we log in as a root user, which is the most powerful user, and then we can create new users. On Windows, we log in as administrator. How will Amazon give you the passwords for these users on Linux and Windows machines. Keep in mind that Amazon does not provide you the passwords for Linux root user and for Windows administrator. Then question is how do you log in? The answer is keys are provided. So let's look into the concept of keys. Here is a brief overview of public and private keys concept. Details are covered in a different video as already mentioned. So the login information for your Linux or Windows machine is there with Amazon. They encrypt it using a public key which is available to the public. However, only you have access to the private key. So the point is this login information could be encrypted using a public key but could be decrypted only using the private key. So anyone having access to the public key will not be able to decrypt this information. To decrypt you need a private key and only you have the private key and this is what you download from Amazon's uh, website after opening the account. And you have to keep the private key secure. If you give access to anyone else on this private key information that is provided to you by Amazon then that person will be able to decrypt the login information. So the private key possession is as good as having the possession of the login information. So let's say you got a Linux machine from Amazon Web Services. You'll be paying on usage basis to Amazon and you want to make a connection to Linux environment. You need a software to make a connection like PuTTY, for example, you will install this on your Windows desktop or Mac desktop, etc. and you will make a connection. Typically, you will enter the username like root and the password immediately after making a connection and then you will get access to the Linux environment and you can do whatever you want. However, on Amazon Web Services, you do not get the root password for Linux. How do you then connect to the Linux environment? You still use software like PuTTY for example, but you make the connection using the private key directly. This is the private key you get from the Amazon Web Services. So this is as good as the login information. So you tell PuTTY use the private key and you are logged into Linux and then you can do whatever you want to do. Now let's say you got a Windows based box from Amazon Web Services. Again you'll be paying on the basis of usage of resources because this is a cloud environment. And how do you make connection to Windows? You do not use PuTTY for example for Windows connection. You will use some remote desktop client so that you can see the screen of this Windows machine on your client computer as if you are sitting on that actual computer. So that is a remote desktop uh, connection. It uses a special protocol for this uh, to be achieved. Now you do need administrator password when you are connecting to Windows, but Amazon did not give you administrator password. They do not provide you passwords. They only give you the key. So you have to generate the password from the key. So you are basically reverse engineering the password based on the key and you use this password to make connection to Windows. 
so in the coming videos you will learn how to get the key the private key information from Amazon Web Services how to make connection to Linux box using PuTTY and making use of your private key without the root password and how to generate Windows administrator password using the private key given to you by Amazon Web Services.